Good everyone, oh good guys, video and today we have a Talisman series fly out in the P36G. Now the last time I flew this thing was for a community choice, which I end up might end up bringing that series back now that we've grown a bit more. So let me know if you want to see that. If, if you don't know what I mean, just literally type in the search bar on my channel, um, community choice, and you'll see what I mean. I'm, I'm probably going to end up bringing that back because, well... We've grown a lot more, and obviously the community as a whole has been responding a lot more in the comments section, stuff like that. So, to begin, the P36G is my most recent talisman, and to be brutally honest, I'm pretty happy about that. I really like this aircraft. Now, I know I've been neglecting Japan, but obviously, as people know, if I get a new talisman in a previous nation, I always go back and do that nation, just because then it I, I don't forget about it. But don't worry, next talisman series, obviously not including tanks, will be the Key 61 Co, because I've been delaying Japan too long, so there you go. So the P66G is not much different from its previous model, the C. All it does is add two 7.62 machine guns to the wings and replaces one of the 7.62 machine guns in the engine cowling with another 50 cal, which is always nice. Now at BR 2.3, we're going to be seeing some tough competition. But I know for a fact this aircraft is more than capable. It's got good performance, good climb, and a good turn. That That's what we need. However, against Japanese aircraft, we ain't going to stand a chance in the turn, so we're going to be doing the usual boom and zoom. Now, I haven't flown a P36G since the community choice, so if I'm a bit rusty with this bird, you now know why, but... I don't really tend to fly Hawks anymore, which is a shame because I, I love them. They're really nice aircraft. I mean, last time I flew a Hawk in general would have been when I was with Harry and Rasmussen's, which uh, it's a P36A. It, it's basically this with less firepower. Now, some of you eagle-eyed viewers, as the camera lovely pans out here, may notice those little... How can I describe it? Like, um, they're like... They're sticking out the wings. You know what I mean. I've just got morning brain. You may have noticed those little pylons, is the word I was looking for, underneath the wings. That was because the P36G was meant to carry small bombs, and it could also carry two 100 pound bombs. Now, the P36s in game do not feature any kind of ordnance, so I think what Gaijin could potentially do in the future, although this plane's been in for years, so I severely doubt it's going to happen is to give this thing a couple of bombs, just to make it different other than firepower. Because at the end of the day, by the time this aircraft came out, it was already being replaced by stuff like P-40s, so there you go. But I just think that could help differentiate it from the other Hawks, and obviously with it being, I think it's a required aircraft now, yes it is. Because it used to be the P-36A, the P-36C, and then the P-36G here, if I remember rightly. And the G was... Well, not many people flew the G. Because obviously they wanted to get to the Warhawks and the Kitty Hawks. And then obviously you got the Aerocobras and the P-38s. But I really think what it should do is... Is put P-36G back in this folder. Put something new here but give the P-36G something else to differentiate from the Hover Hawks. But I severely doubt that's going to happen, so you never know. But anyway, let's jump into a battle, because, well, I've probably blabbered on a bit too much. But um, we're, we've got a load of... Um, well, I've still got a load of replays to record for Spade Reviews, and obviously with me coming back in just a couple of days' time, because, well, I need to get some stuff done, because then... I can actually come back and um, not have to worry about doing things at the last minute, which I, I don't like doing things at the last minute. But um, sorry for my throat being a bit croaky and groggy, shall we say. It's... what time is it actually? It's 9.43 in the morning. I've been up about 45 minutes and, well, my throat's a little sore, so there you go. It's probably going to be like this for a couple of recordings because well, I've got to do f I've got to do a few today because well 
but don't worry. I've got a nice cold drink on standby. Yeah, I haven't flown the Hawk or the P66G since that community choice. Okay, P66G, J22A. That sounds way too loud. That's better. That's probably because I've got my headset cranked up, but to me that sounded way too loud. Okay, what kind of BR we got? Looks like we we are top dogs. Just a BB1, sweet. I'll take that. I'll definitely take a top dog battle. That H75 isn't taken off. Oh no, he, he looks like he balls up his takeoff. Oh well. Yeah, I've always liked the Hawks. They're they're nice aircraft to fly. They're very beginner friendly, in my personal opinion. And well. They're agile enough to beat most of the modern planes down at LC, so there you go. I typically climb to this side so that way if there's any ground attackers I can go and feast and then that drags the enemies low and we can have a nice little dogfight. Which tends to work in my favour because obviously I have more experience than most others at this BR unless it's just some sad bastard and they've been E1 or something. B6N1, that's the Japanese bomber I reviewed. Not bad, I mean, he's the one with a gun, so we're going to be considerate, but not be as considerate as what I would be. Stuka and a flying shed, and a 111. Okay, fine by me. Chinese Chaika. A5M4 just booked it, lovely. Or shall we say, bought the farm, is another way of saying it. Where's that Stuka going? Now the Stuka is actually a pretty... Was that you firing then? Really? Okay. I mean, if you, if you want to shoot at me and get yourself shot down by me, you're more than welcome. Because A, I'm spaded and he's not. And B, I've got heavier guns. And he just... Well, he did a day Taurus, just to put it simply. I haven't actually, um, I don't think I've mentioned it, but, um, well, I might have mentioned it in a spade review and forgot about it, but... Day Taurus actually ended up rage quitting the server because, um, we made memes about him, basically. He didn't like it. We basically made a, a section in the server called, um, Day Taurus and Shadow Memes, and he didn't like the fact that we made that section devoted to him and he basically blocked everyone and um, he also what I was gonna say um, he also oh, that was close critical on his engine lovely we'll flip it back around and finish him off so look at this little sucker dance this thing really does love to dance I mean she ain't the best looking bird at the ball but she don't need to be Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Kill number one. Lovely jebly. Okay, BF109 over there. Got an R2002 over there. And I think there's another 109 over here. That's fine. Yeah, but as I was saying before, that guy decided to scratch my paint. Um, yeah, he, he wasn't particularly happy about it. He went through and blocked pretty much everyone and just left the server. It was actually pretty funny. But the thing is though, we've taken the piss out of him for so long, and yet, now it's just, I, I don't get it. We make a, a section in the server to store the memes, because I literally had a folder, and I still do, on my desktop to keep an eye on all the memes and track them all. Okay, I just start over here a little bit. Uh, it's one thing about the Hawks that is can, well, can be annoying. But I'll just plop it to 90%. Looks like this Danger Mango is going to cap his runway in typical fashion. I, I honestly don't get it because like, he's not benefiting at all. But let's just have a look. He's got no points. He's got no points. I mean, I've at least got a kill to my name. 
Right, what I think I'll do is I'll bait him out. Alright, you don't like doing snap rolls playing, okay. I'll, I'll take that into account. I'm gonna go for the flying shed and see what he does. Because if he if he comes for me, I can at least kill the flying shed. That that's a nickname from a old YouTuber who sadly got his account hacked and yada yada yada. He it, it wasn't nice, let's just say. Alright, well I'm gonna have to leave the shed because this guy's coming back now. In typical coward fashion. I'm not being funny, right? This is BR 2.3, buddy, and you're already being a scumbag. Like, come on. I don't know what model of 109 is, but I have, I'd have to guess a B. If it's a 109B, I feel sorry for you because he's about to go head on with Ace Underland. Oh, typical. He rips his wings off and I don't get credit. Alright, we're going to have to go on the defensive. Go on, Ed Scumbag Camper, since you can't be asked to fight until you have an advantage. Watch him, he'll turn immediately left and make his way towards his runway. <sighs> runway campers. Biggest kind of douchebag. I'm not being funny, right? This is BR 2.3. <sighs> well, I'll leave you to play with the Sunderland. I'm getting bored of your shit already. Like, come on, at least the bombers and most of your team have had a chance to do something. I mean, this guy didn't even spawn. You get my point? Like, come on. BR 2.3, he's level 100, and he camps the freaking runway. That is just pathetic. But that's the thing though, people are just going to do anything now to make themselves look good in a game. Oh Jesus, that was close. Jesus Christ, man. I don't want a hug. Like, Jesus. That's Flight's job. He, he's the one who receives all the hugs. That's fine though, the more he delays, the more I can farm and get our tickets in the favour. Look, he doesn't even know how to fly his bird. Yeah, are you stealth and um, universal accordingly? Are you stealth on the 762s and or convergence? Are you 600? I'm just going to call him out. Camp your runway all you like. We will just farm. I, I, I don't care. I honestly don't care. You can camp all you fucking like. You're just a scumbag. I mean, he's got five grand units left. <laughs> oh, douchebags. They, they don't have a monkey's what they're doing. Is he really that thick? Terrible typing here. See, look, I ran to the runway a second, I was 1v7. Uh, no, actually, you was running to your runway when it was 1 versus 1, since I was the only one in the area. But hey, that just shows you exactly what scumbag players will do, just to try to get an advantage. Like, seriously, he's... he's flying a fucking B1. 
He's got more than a fair show of taking on a P-36G if he keeps it wound up. But quite clearly he doesn't know how to fly his aircraft, and quite clearly he doesn't know how to fight A-1 versus 1, so he has to use his runway to do it. But hey, that's just how it works now. People just camp their runway because they're assholes and they don't want to fight, so unfortunately we just can't do anything about that. But I'll take a kill. I'll I'll take the result we got. I mean, I'm not bothered how these results go because at the end of the day you get to see a douchebag. So there you go. I I just don't get it. Like if if you know how it is at these BRs, because let's be real, allies tend to club at this BR because well Sweden, China with the CW21. You get your Hawks, you get your stuff like um, your Havocs, your Hudsons, etc. If you know what you're doing, chances are you are going to win practically every time. Especially in an allied squad. If you know what's going to happen at this BR, and yet you're going to do that, why bother? Just why bother? I don't know. But not a bad resort to P36G. Shame I couldn't really get any more air kills, because, well, the team did that bloody well. And, well, the runway camper didn't exactly want to fight. He got a little scratch on my paint, but I honestly don't care, because, well, the repair cost on this thing, A, is cheap, and B, I have 41 million lines, so I really don't care how much the paint scratches. But I hope you enjoyed this return to the Talisman series. Like I say, the next um, tank one will probably, in fact, no, it will be the BT-7. So, after the BT-7 will be the Key 61 code. So, there you go. But, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the P-36G. Hope you enjoyed seeing a runway camper. If you want to report him, feel free. I'd Like I say, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say you should or you shouldn't. But, if you want to report him for being a runway camper scumbag, please do feel free. But anyway, I'll see you all on the next one.